is Nunay Nuryani And in this opportunity, we would like to uh, We are from <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> opportunity uh, we will present present about our tax it's about but speaking, interfering mm -mm. interfering other people it is speaking tax right right mm -mm. So, so please ah don't forget before you watching please likes <laughs> comment and comment and subscribe, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> okay Happy watching! Happy watching for you all. Uh, please, <laughs> please, uh, miss it. Our pronunciation, yeah, our grammar. To... Pardon, pardon, pardon our... me. So we still learning. Yeah, good. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. I am Nuno Nuryani from Singapore Bangsa Karawang University. <coughs> uh, I have a tax from my college that interviewing you. Yeah. Uh, may I interview you, please? Yeah. It's okay. Of course, I want to help you for your tax. Okay. okay, thank you. Um, uh, may I know your identity, please? Well, okay. My name is Nira Ramadani Susanto and I have been in this uh, kindergarten is being a teacher. Okay, being a teacher. Okay, you being a teacher in this kindergarten. So, how long have you been a kindergarten kindergarten teacher? Well, I have been two years in this kindergarten. I think. Wow, it's been long. Yeah. Uh, so, what is the reason you want to become a kindergarten teacher? For the reason, well, to be honest, I don't have a special reason, but someday, some, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, one day I looking at my sister, uh, so in the kin in her kindergarten, so I look that in the kindergarten is have a many challenging so I like challenging myself so I so that the reason why I'm the uh, teacher right now okay in your class uh, surely have a different characteristic uh, right yeah that's right so how to solve the different characteristic your student well for um, what can you repeat your question, please? Okay, uh, I will repeat my question is uh, how to solve the different characteristics students, your students in my class, right? Yes, yeah, your class. Well, for different character in my class, well, we can approach every student in my class, so you will understand what the characteristic looks like in your class so that's it only that um okay the next question uh, i want to know i ever hear in other teacher that is a, a bad characteristic in each class so what do you think about bad characteristic uh, your student well, I believe in my class there is no a bad characteristic because every student has their own uh, abilities and have their own unique, unique, something action. unique, unique action. So, my my opinion, I think when teachers say that there are a bad character, I think there is no bad character in our class. Each yeah, like what I said before, each student have their unique actions that's it mm, unique actions that's good do you know 
uh, the naughty student they they didn't obey your uh, the teacher instruction and are playing in your class ever seen your yeah. student of playing course, in of around course. your class of course then um, <laughs> Some of my students, they are very active students. It's really, really make me busy, to be honest. But, well, yeah, like what I said because before, they have their unique, unique, uh, unique things. Okay, so my question is, what is your opinion on if, if your student didn't obey your instruction and they always playing in your class? Usually, I'm, I have some method that will make them to give their attention to me okay. so that's it oh you have uh, some okay, method no. okay uh, can you expand what is the method yeah. well i think there are two methods the first method is about um, sing a song you can sing a song with your uh, student so they will give your attention to you yeah and then you can make a song play games it's really interesting interesting so they will give their all attentions to you and maybe there are one method again is about storytelling children very like uh, storytelling they're really interesting about that oh interesting your study is very interesting uh, I've, I have uh, I ever been uh, that a student is in over action. So I want to know uh, about that. Uh, can you tell to explain about how to solve your student who is over action? Well, I think that we can give him or her about it. Uh, some advice because we can tell him or her like uh, please give it to your other friends give your chance to other friends like that okay so he will understand he will understand about from that advice so uh, next uh, question yeah. uh, you have uh, many many music subject okay all right i have much subject oh. <laughs> okay so how to solve your student that never understand about your subject some subject maybe okay well firstly i will motivate him or her Motiv yeah give her her him or her motivate that will that she will and secondly i will uh, I will make the subject will be more interesting so he will he or her will be interesting to um, to study about the subject and make a simple subject so they will understand it that's it mm, understand it okay is it last question oh yes uh, I have a last question for you um, did you know that every education have their purpose? Yeah. Yes, isn't you? Right. <laughs> I mean, how do you do to solve who who can't reach the that purpose? Well, I think well we are start for some purpose, right? Yeah. So we are uh, with hard work. We we should. We must, we must, we must get that purpose. So, how to can get purpose? Uh, get that purpose? Yeah, of course, we will hard work, and we can. We never to give up, because student is very very important for our nationality. So don't give up. Don't to give get a purpose to get that purpose. So we should hard work every time. Um, okay, that's enough. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Yeah, of course. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry to disturb your time. Oh, it's not disturbing my time. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, see you later see you. and thank you. See you.
Good afternoon, everybody. In here, I'm with Miss Nunoy. Of course. That is my interviewer. That will be I'm interviewing, uh, telling us about the kindergarten teacher. Here, Miss Nunoy is being teachers in the kindergarten, two years experience, right? Right. Okay, Miss Nunoy. Yes. Uh, sorry for disturbing your times and oh, no problem. Yeah, in this opportunity, I want to interviewing you about the topic is about uh, student in your class i'm sure you have much experience to use this right yeah, right. yeah okay so miss nunoy yes i think the this job teacher kindergarten teacher is where have a much uh, happiness face so are you happy with jobs of course I I am very very happy with this job because I like uh I like a children I like a kid I think I feel uh make me uh uh they make me sympathetic right yes being kindergarten teacher yeah so. I like this job and I you like love it. <laughs> yes, I like uh, children. Yeah, I'm also like children too. So the second question is so mostly what kind of characteristic in your class? Yeah, as we know at the class there are so many many characteristics with one student and other students. So what do you think about that? The mostly kind of characteristic my student is uh, nice, of course. Yeah. <laughs> In the class also always nice. Nice, yes, many many students. My student is nice. And the second is size student, like the one of my child. My student is yeah. very very size. <laughs> size. Okay, the second is. Uh, Operation student. Operation. Mm -hmm. okay. And then a uh, low achiever learner. Okay. Low achiever learner. Yes. Can you explain me what is mean low achiever learner? So, um, the low achiever learner, in my opinion, is those who are slow in understanding the materials or some subject. So the materials, the materials that we that we teach should be more interesting and and fun, of course. Interesting and fun. Yes. So they are easy to understanding to understand and can they can do it by themselves. Thank you. Also, that's your opinion about low achiever learners. Yes. So, what is the factor that can trigger low achiever learner? Um, factor. The factor. Oh, uh, in my opinion, the the first factor is uh, atmos atmosphere situation in the in the class. Oh, the atmosphere on the class. So they feel um oh. I'm I'm feel exercise so that that make them to uh, down so that is uh, atmosphere situation in the class is very important and then uh, in their self like uh, the uh, we have to open their mind to, to get their to raise, oh, to raise their to mind. Oh, they raise their mind. Okay. To raise their mind. Okay. To raise their mind to to motivate their study. And then the last is family. Yeah, family, of course, family is very important for family. us. And if they are have a broken home, in their their family is make make them is stress and. Like so, a uh, broken home is also the factor uh, that a trigger low edge for learning, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So, it's family. It's very very important for low edge for learner. Very important for yes. every student also. Yes, right? also. Okay. Uh, so, 
Could you explain me about the students that have a broken home problem? Oh, broken home problem. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, broken home is a she is a condition when a family experience fractures and end are separated. The first one is the the problem. The first one is uh, emotional problem. Mm -hmm. They will. Uh, they will experiencing stress and this depression mm -hmm. so the last is social problem that that will insatious uh, anxiety uh, areas and resources uh, cynicism in and disbelief to racial relationship relationship, relationship. Uh, be, bit uh between between uh family and mm. and this their environment oh their environment so okay mm. so what is your opinion on student who always try when answer the teacher question well as we know in the class also have a shy student mm. yeah like mm. what you said before so yeah. what do you what do you think about that um, shy student. Yeah. Shy student show difference action between between when at the class and at the home. If at the if the home, uh, they will be more confident to fare well, mm -hmm. and at the school, mm -hmm. they will silent and reluctant to appear in public so say children are not part of a child's development the the nature of shame can be obtention and lack of interaction in the environment around the child that's, that's all so can you solve for the student that always have been shy on the class oh, of course I have a uh, several to solve students' side. Yeah. The first is be patient and be mad, yeah, of and preserving, yeah. of course. And the second is bring the student to group play. Mm. Mm. And then make a good communication with the with the children, and give a prize. 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 When yeah, yeah, they manage right. to do something, and then uh, don't school them. School them. Yeah, because they will they they will feel uh often offended. Offended. Okay. Offended. Okay. And then the last one is give a spirit for them okay. and motivate. So they will not shy again in the yes. class, right? Okay. So, as as we know in the class. Uh, some student always doesn't like uh, some subject yeah like a mad mad subject several students don't like math right mm -hmm. so how you can motivate your student on the class mm, to motivate my student of course I uh, my method is give them price 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 to to give them spirit, mm. uh, more confident, mm. and then uh, you can make an interesting something, right? Yes, to make them more okay. And then make a competition. Competitions. Yes. Oh yeah, you're right. Competition That's a good one. for the for make them. Oh, I'll, I should. More. I should. Yes, I should more. Uh, more to do something more before, faster more faster be about more than my friends more than my friends oh, okay. yeah. this the term is price yeah. <laughs> <I'm> sorry <laughs> it's okay it's okay as we know we uh i i have uh, i needed a price mm -hmm. myself and everybody and everybody uh, need a prize so I give a prize to my children to give up their spirit and okay. never uh, give up right? never give up for okay. them so uh, you are have a much method right so 
Do you have a suggestion for the teacher in outside there about how being a good teacher and good teaching on the class? Um, for a good teacher, mm -hmm. teaching in the class, okay. actually, I don't know because I, I'm, I still run um, to... You um, only have teaching. a two experience. Mm -hmm. That's not but, enough, right? Yes, but... I just say I just tell to them because uh, teaching with your heart mm -hmm. and yeah, then be patient right. and then uh, never give up of course because be more 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 and more patient to yeah. to teach uh, children children yeah. okay so the last questions okay. Then what is your the best method at the class that is still powerful and still you are on and still powerful until today? I wish you using on the class. What the method is it? I um, I think storytelling. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Because storytelling uh make make, make them. uh make them happy, okay, make them happy and then uh, make them relax and fun oh, yeah. and then in the storytelling is many many mandate mandate, mandate. Uh, so we met uh, so I I uh, I give them storytelling uh, many many storytelling that that they like that they like well, okay, thank you for your time, Miss Nunui. I really, really uh, regret it for your time. Okay, that's all for me, and thank you for watching the video. Bye bye. So, that's all from us. Uh, thank you, thank for, you watching. for watching. And we hope that you have to, you get something from uh, after watching our videos. Thank you. Thank you.